Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. This is The Posh and Me and this channel is dedicated to reviewing lifestyle and designer items. And today I want to talk to you about one of the hyped brands on social media and that's Pollen. Um, this is not a sponsored review. Um, I bought this bag myself three years ago. Uh, so I felt like, you know, this has been a long time and I can definitely give you an honest review of the bag and whether or not I would recommend it. Um, I will be putting timestamps below so that you don't have to watch the whole video, but I strongly encourage you to do watch, <laughs> to do, <laughs> to watch the whole video because it's going to be a quick and short one. Uh, so with that, let's get started. Uh, so a general overview of the bag, this is um, number one mini. Um, this is the mini version of their popular um, number one bag. Um, the reason why I got this bag over you know, the big one is because I actually just needed a small little bag, um, a small little black bag in, in my collection. Um, and at that time I didn't have anything, so um, I believe this is kind of where Polen was kind of introduced to the North American market. So. I saw it and just fell in love and I was like, yes, I definitely need this bag. It's mini. Let me get it. So the color is the monochrome black. It does come in two other different variations of black colors, black colors of black color. Um, one is um, just a different type of leather and then one other one is has uh, suede and leather uh, material. So this one is the fully um, textured grain fully textured grain um, cuff leather. So basically this is like the same material that Gucci uses on their Soho bags. Um, think of it that way. All right, um, so let me just give you a quick overview of the bag. Um, so this, it does come with a chain strap. Um, on the site, it does say that, that the, the strap is adjustable. Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure how you would adjust it, how you would adjust like a chain strap. Uh, it's not like there's any like, any buttons on the in, 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 inside to for you to do that so I'm not really sure how you're supposed to adjust it but whatever it is a removable strap so you can um, definitely remove it which is a plus um, all right so then it is a button closure uh, as you saw and then there are two buttons over here that you can unbutton to expand the bag if you really needed to um, so I'm just going to do that to show you that one big compartment on the inside. Um, it does have a flat pocket over here, which is quite big, um, you know, and it is, um, you know, kind of stretchy, I would say. Like, you can definitely put a lot of items in here. Um, and then the inside is made of cotton uh, material. And then if we were to put this back, and then here on the back, um, you will see an exterior uh, flat pocket. All right, so let's just close this up. Here it goes. So um, in terms of the size measurements, um, it is 20 and a half centimeters by 18 centimeters and nine centimeters in depth. Um, and one thing I did forget to mention that the bag does come with uh, four feet, which is definitely a plus. All right, so um, moving on to pros and cons of the bag. Um, so the first, I'll talk about the pros. Um, I think, and this is not in any order. Um, so the pro definitely being uh, how durable the bag is because of the calfskin uh, leather. Um, it is very durable and in the three years that I've had the bag, um, you can see there's barely any wear or tear. There are no scuff marks. Um, um, yeah, like I'm trying to take a look. There's definitely no scuff marks anywhere, not in the corners, not anywhere else on the bag, not in here where um, the chain is. Um, the only mark that there is, and that was caused by me, um, there's a little scratch over here. I actually don't know how um, I did that. It must have been like a nail or something like that, something like a hard material. Um, but it's definitely, you know, here, like I, I'll show you. I can, like, I don't have any nails, but if I were to scratch it, it's definitely not going to be anything um, appearing. Uh, this is not lambskin. Um, so that's definitely a plus. Um, number two, the fact that it does come with feet. Um, I think that's also a big plus because, you know, it just takes away from that worrying, you know, when you go out and putting your bag on the ground. Um, with the feet, you just have to worry about it being it getting dirty or anything like that. So I absolutely love that about the bag. And um, 
I think number three is that, um, you know, for it being a small bag, it does fit quite a lot. And I will be showing what fits inside later on in the video. Um, but I was actually very surprised to see how much it fits for such a small bag. All right, so for the cons of the bag, and I only have one, and for me, it's the biggest one, um, and it being how heavy the bag is. Um, so I, the, def the heaviness definitely comes from the chain. Um, this is a brass material, and I mean, it doesn't matter what kind of material it is. Any chain uh, strap bag would be kind of heavy, but this is just a little bit too heavy for my liking. Um, in comparison, I did end up getting um, a YSL, wallet and chain um maybe a year ago and i've been using that bag to kind of fulfill the purpose of this bag um and you know that bag also has a chain and it's not as heavy as this one so for me i think the biggest um concern and i don't know why nobody else is really talking about it, is, is how heavy this is um now on the site Polen is saying this is a day bag um I'm not sure it is like I said the good thing is that it does fit quite a lot of items in here for it to be a day bag but it is heavy and because the chain doesn't have any leather uh, part to it um, it really digs into your shoulder and it doesn't really you know stay that well I don't know it's just kind of like an awkward shape I want to say when you put it on um, and yeah so I, I think for me personally this you know was a very big disappointment when i got the bag um because of how heavy it was and i kind of realized right away that you know it's not gonna be a day bag for me so for it you know will it be an evening bag well it's kind of a little bit too big to be an evening bag and again it's still a little bit heavy to be um an evening bag so because of that i haven't been using the bag a lot um probably i've used it i want to say 20 times tops in the last three years so and that's not a lot and, and just to you know uh, be very um, honest with you three years ago I didn't have quite a lot of like I didn't have a lot of designer bags so my design collection probably only consisted of like three designer handbags and then this Polen bag and then you know, the Kate Spades and everything else um, so this was kind of you know a big deal it was very expensive um, I don't remember how much I paid. I think right now the retail price is 350 USD. However, here in Canada, you do have to pay duties on the bag. So I remember buying the bag, I think it was maybe 400, 500, 450 or so. And then, you know, being slapped with like a 70 bucks uh, duty fee. That was quite a lot. So it was, you know, returning this bag was definitely out of like the option for me. Um, so it was either like reselling it or just keeping it. So. You know, at that price point, I was like, okay, like, I'll just keep it. Um, it is what it is. I think that if I were, um, and I'm kind of moving on to like, <laughs> I'm kind of moving on to that would I recommend this bag section. I think for me, if I were to see this bag in person and then walk into the store and see it in person, I probably would not have picked this bag. Um, this is not to say that I wouldn't pick any of the Poland bags. This is just to say that I probably would not pick this um, size, this style. Um, at least for me, um, this is a little bit, again, too heavy, um, beautiful, but a little bit too heavy. Um, so do I have a regret of buying it? Mm, I don't want to say it, but maybe. <laughs> um, I definitely have not used this bag in the last year. Uh, like I said, I bought the YSL, the YSL uh, wallet and chain uh, to replace that need for a little black mini bag and since then i haven't been reaching out for this bag at all so it's literally just standing in my closet looking pretty as it does right now uh but you know what everyone's different so uh, you know just because a bag is heavy for me it might not be heavy for you um and if you do live in europe i strongly encourage you to go into the store to try it on but that's just kind of you know my opinion um all right so let me kind of finish let me finish this off by um showing you what fits inside and here we go so i have a water bottle over here you can easily fit inside um standing let's see if it's gonna close if i stand yeah i mean you can definitely close the bag but i probably would not recommend it so i'm gonna lay it flat over here um i have my um lv victorine wallet 
which is the compact wallet from LV. Uh, my key claim, my phone, uh, and then a pair of sunglasses. I'm like a magician pulling stuff out of uh, out of God knows where. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay. So let me just. Oh, okay. I, I guess I expanded the back. Let me close this up. Yeah, so it can easily close up with how it is. Uh, ooh, it's even more heavier now. <laughs> I feel like I'm carrying a, a carry-on luggage over here. <laughs> All right, so here is. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if you, well, you can't you can't feel it, but you can probably see how heavy the bag is. But that's because I have a water bottle inside, and then in terms of well, in terms of what. If there's space for anything else um yeah i mean i'm sure you can put some stuff in here I definitely lip glosses and stuff like that smaller items um, let me take the water bottle out for you to see what else it can fit one second let me get it there it is okay so let me put all of these items in here without the water bottle so that you can see how much space is left okay so there's Quite a lot of space left for anything else um, and it's definitely less heavier without the, the bottle in it okay let's close it's not a magnetic closure it is a button closure i think i've mentioned that but see. okay there you go so it, it is definitely a cute bag um you know i love that you can hold it like this um, i definitely would not just remove the strap because I don't know, it'd be kind of a weird, like, wear. No, no, <laughs> no, just don't. <laughs> um, and you know what? I don't think you can, I mean, I'm trying to think if you can put a different strap in here and no, you probably couldn't uh, because of how the, how the chain strap is holding up in here inside of the bag. Yeah, you definitely could not, uh, you can replace it with a different um, metal strap like a different chain strap, but probably nothing with like a leather or anything like that. And yeah, so so anyway, so so that wraps up my uh, quick review of this bag. Um, again, to kind of recap, so yes, this is a nice handbag, um, great material, looks cute, different, um, small but mighty. However, it is a heavy bag and because of that, I have not been using it as much as I would have loved to. Um, so would I recommend it? Uh, probably not. Um, but um, if I were in Europe and you know, I'd see a Poland store, I'd definitely go in and check out their other purses because the materials are nice, um, the, the designs are unique um, and that's what I love about Poland. Um, but this bag was just not for me. So that wraps up my video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please put a th thumbs up. Um, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Um, thank you and we'll see you again soon. Bye.